it started off with um, like the choreographer would give us things to do or lines to say or like say we would measure people and then we would kind of play around with things and then she would interject or if she liked what we did we would keep it and then she kind of put everything together from there. I'm in two pieces. I'm in Colin Stillwell's piece and I'm also in Amy Marshall's piece. They're both on faculty here at Hofstra. Amy um, had already set the piece that we're going to be performing previously many times, so the process for her was really simple. We learned the entire piece in two rehearsals of five hours each, and then we just continued to run it, clean it. Um, the piece has a lot to do with our approach and the attitude that we are going to have when we're on stage performing the piece, so we worked a lot on developing that. Um, for Colin's piece, he came in with a new idea, the piece was completely brand new, so we generated a lot of um, material by just um, experimenting with movement, a lot of kind of him asking us to perform a certain task, and then we would execute it and say, mm, that's not quite right, can you try this direction, and then we might try a different direction until he got what he wanted. Um, so we played a lot with structure, spacing, that's a lot of what his piece revolves around. So the two rehearsal processes were very different, um, but both very rewarding. So the rehearsal process has uh, been very interesting because uh, as a dancer, I'm used to learning choreography and learning steps, but this is more of a spoken word piece. And so it's about measurements, games, and rules. And it's about society having all these different rules interjected in it, and we have to always pay attention to it. And it really is different compared to our costumes, the beautiful white peplum uh, shirts with corsets. So the justification there is awesome, but the rehearsal process, we didn't really learn choreography, so it was more of an ex we explored different movement qualities and types to see what the cast of a whole can create because Claire never, she gave us an idea, but at the end of the day, it was our creation. Uh, the rehearsal process has been very good. Um, it's a lot of hours per week, it's a lot of dedication, um, but this semester especially, we have a lot, a lot of collaboration going on between the dancers and the choreographers, which is really unique, and uh, so that's been an exciting part of the rehearsal process. Um, personally, I love to have some agency when it comes to composing the piece. I enjoy being, a, give, being given the freedom to improvise and, and to contribute some of my own movement to the work. Um, I think that it adds another element to the work. Uh, I personally, in a dance piece, look for a lot of athleticism and a lot of like shapes and dynamic movement. Uh, that's what I enjoy doing and I think that it translates really well onto the stage. So as a dancer, I look for overall showmanship. Um, it just really is important to me that it's visually appealing and it doesn't, some dances, if nothing much is going on, quite frankly, it leaves me bored. So I like to see constant movement and shape changes and just constant uh, stuff going on. I think it's really important that the choreographer kind of has a plan of action knows what the piece is going to be about, how they want to go about choreographing it, if there's going to be dancer input or not, and then watching the piece, that kind of that everything works, the costumes, the lighting, the music, if there is silence or not, that kind of like gives it a whole like, sense of unity. So personally, I love ensemble pieces because uh, I'm a musical theater dancer and to be in the ensemble of high energy shows and being on stage with people that love doing what you do and the energy that drives the performance really is powerful compared to uh, solo work. I prefer ensemble pieces because I think it gives you a little bit more to explore with, you can do solos within, and I think that it, it you have a lot more to look at in ensemble pieces. I don't really prefer either one. Each one kind of gives me um, like a different thing. Like
like choreographing my own solo is really nice to do because I can like work on things that I want to work on with my own solo, but then also working with choreographer is really nice to with like a big cast, getting to know them and the choreographer. As movement artists, I think that there's something very human about people gathering on stage and moving together. Um, and I think that a solo work must have a different intention uh, because that's obviously impossible unless you're only interacting with the space in a solo work. So you could interact with the space or you could interact with one your own ideas in a solo work, but I think that personally I love finding that human connection through movement and so I prefer ensemble works so far. Uh, I think that the average audience member doesn't necessarily understand um, the hours and the work that have been put into this um, and just how much it takes to get the littlest things correct. I think the average audience member doesn't understand the hard work that gets put into a piece because like how many hours a week we rehearse and the tech rehearsal process and the dress rehearsal process and how long it takes to actually choreograph the piece. Um, I don't think they understand how difficult uh, being in this art form is. Uh, we have spent our entire lives uh, since children trying to perfect this craft and uh, make it really a valid art form and people don't understand how much hard work it takes for not just having fun. Dance is not just this little, this thing that goes into one box. There's many, many, many different um, categories of it and there's many ways that um, movement can convey things and they don't necessarily have to be laid out for the audience. Um, the audience should expect to question